Morning folks, Kevin Wording Vapor back for another hardware review and I've got a little budget mod for you this morning. It's the Sinuous V200 from Wismac. Not a bad little thing. Watch this, I'll be back with you guys in just a tick. So oh, here's the box, yeah, as you can see there, there's a sample sticker on there. This was actually sent to me specifically for review. On the front there, you can see that uh, you've got Sinuous V200 and you've got Wismic on there as well. You've got a picture of the device on the front there. Okay, so um, it isn't actually in the box, but uh, um, you've got one of these paper sleeves over the top there. So, right, here's the uh, the actual tank and the mod themselves. Uh, as you can see, yeah, they're green. <laughs> <coughs> I do apologise if I start coughing. Or oh, I am coughing. I've got a bit of a bug on me at the moment, a bit of a cold, etc. You know, um, I'm not taking the tank apart because I've got liquid in there. Uh, but uh, it comes in four parts: the top section here, the tank, and the fill pool cap. Okay. Open there you go. There's the uh, little pull. That's all in one piece. You've got uh, inside the tank there. You've got a, ch a stainless steel chimney section. If you can, I don't know if you can see that down in there. There you go. Yeah, and the coil actually screws into the uh, the chimney section. And the coil that's in there at the moment is the uh, 0.27 ohm mesh coil. The base is. It's got aluminium, like the top cap. The top cap is aluminium. The base, or oh, the base ring is aluminium. Obviously, you've got your O ring there for the glass, the uh, tank to sit around, sort of thing. The actual cup of the tank is made of stainless steel for the coil to screw into. On the bottom there, you've got stainless steel threading, which hasn't been done that badly. Uh, you've got a silver plated connection point there. Uh, armor, armor, or armor, NSC. You've got the usual wheelie bin and CE mark and Wismec on there as well. Yeah, okay, right, that's, uh, let's, let's just put that to one side for a tick. If I understand, there you go. Right. Here's the, uh, the mod itself. Where's my points up? There we are. As you can see, you've got, uh, Stainless steel connection point there. The threading hasn't been done too badly. It's all right. It's okay. This incidentally is a budget mod. Um, I forgot to mention that earlier, but yeah, it is. You know, two uh, star head Phillips head screws there uh, to hold the 510 in place. The frame of the uh, the device is made of aluminium. You've got laser on there. You've got sinuous. Uh, v200 on the bottom there you've got manufactured by Wismac the usual C and wheelie bin uh, the uh, the back door obviously is this see-through PC stuff yeah it's got Wismac on there you also got a honeycomb pattern molded into the door itself the battery door you've got obviously it's molded in yeah you've got magnets on uh, on either side there pretty good magnets actually they go quite well with the uh, the magnets underneath the sled again you've got Wismic I don't know if you can see that properly let's put it up again there you go there. you've got Wismic printed on the door there or uh, moulded into the door right take the batteries out just a tick battery ribbon yeah well you know how i feel about them you've got uh actually with me i will give full marks for this time because they've actually listened to reviewers um and they've uh, they've put the battery indication marks in white on a black or a dark background yeah which is fine that's great i like to see that it's 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 good but i don't know where it would be the only one that they do like this but yeah, it's nice to see. Uh, gold plated connection points at the, there and gold connection points at the top. Um, yeah, the sled is very, very clean. Held in again by uh, uh, Phillips head screws. 
Yeah, that's fair enough. Right, let's just pop these batteries back in. Right, that's that. Right, so now, the work face. As you can see, it's quite bright. Yeah, it's nice to work with. That's fair enough. You've got all the usual things on there. You've got your ohms, your volts, your amps, and your wattage, if you so desire to go into wattage. This does actually do temperature control. <coughs> um, yeah, you've got, your, uh, you've got a stainless steel fire button on there. You've got stainless steel adjustment buttons. You've got a, a micro USB. Looks like a little face, that does, doesn't it? <laughs> You've got a micro USB there for charging and updates. Um, the the, the Wismec actually do suggest that you take your batteries out of this to uh, to charge it and use a standalone charger, which is fair enough. Right, let's have a look at the menu. One, two, three, and it'll get you into your uh, wire, EW, nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Then you've got your... M1, M2, M3, and then you go back to variable watts. That's fair enough. So I'll, I'll stay in variable watts because the coils that come with this are actually very handsome. Right, hold your fire button down and uh, one of your adjustment buttons, and it takes you into the main directory of your menu system. Uh, you've got your volts there, your battery volts there. You've got what's that? You got your logos, uh, yeah. If you want to change the logo, you can do that via the website. You got your preheat there, so yeah, power duration and exit. Stealth mode that turns it on, turns it off. Well, I want to keep it uh, off, so and that one is your puff amps and time. So, yeah, I keep it on amps. I'm not really worried about puff or time that it's been going. Okay, so there we go. Back to uh, back to the main screen. If you hold both of the uh, adjustment buttons down, it will cause a key lock, yeah? Um, you will be able to fire this, though. Let's just uh, put the tank. So uh, it's locked, um, but you can fire it. There you go, unlocked. Down to 50, whatever. Yeah, right. That's basically it. That's right, okay, let's uh, let's go back up top, give this a bit of a, a toot, then I can t give you my thoughts on the, uh, on the device itself. See you in a tick. Well, that was a quick look at the... Uh, the the Sinuous V200 kit, yeah, uh, it's all right, it's okay, it's a budget mod, it's not too bad, actually there was one thing that I didn't show you while I was down at the table, and that was the airflow for the tank, you've got, you've only got one slot, yeah, on either, on, on one side of the tank, and you've got, if you could just see that, you've got two Air, uh, two dot air flows there for mouth to lung and you've got a wide open slot there for direct to lung right i've got this set at 50 watts let's give it a two not bad no <laughs> blimey o'reilly um yeah not bad not bad at all now let's just bring up my notes and just have a, a quick uh, remind myself like because I'm getting old you see you never remember things properly <laughs> as I said I've got the uh, 0.27 ohm coil installed in this um, and I filled it with I've, I don't know whether I showed you down at the table or not but I filled it with candy cane from uh, Dr Frost it's the original blend very nice one of my favourites Helps me throw as well. So right, let's uh, let's uh, do, do what I, I, I did from a written review. Twenty five watts, very fast counter on this. One airflow hole open. Good flavour, very good flavour. Vapor production is a bit disappointing there for me. Open that up to two airflows and bung it up to. 
that's a bit better. It's a bit better. Um, the, the 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 flavor is still pretty good, although it's it, it's still extremely tight. And I'm not a mouth to lung uh, a vapor these days. That there you go. Anyway, uh, forty five. Open the airflow up for the direct to uh, uh, lung slot. Yeah, open, I've opened that direct to lung slot right up. Oh, my throat is terrible today. It really is. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. The flavour's pretty good on that. So we'll bung that. I'd, I'd, I've been vaping this. About 55 or 50 to 55 watts, yeah. I'll put it on 55 anyway. There you go. Oh, decent amount of vapor from that tank. Uh, now, as I say, uh, the, uh, the, the coil itself that's in this is rated at 60 watts, yeah. I don't like pushing the coils because I don't, I don't really want to burn taste to me, God. But uh, um, 60 watts is, fi is fine, it's fine, I'll, 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 I'll do that. Decent amount of vapour from it. The airflow is very, very swishy on it, it's, it, it's quite good. Right now, I put it up to 65, and to be quite frank, I took a few toots at 65, and I was getting splashed back into my god, and I'm not willing to do that this time, but, uh, oh, I don't know, sod it, why not? Yeah. Oh. I don't like hot splash back in my mouth. I'll put that back down on 50, which is uh, where I like it. Anyway, I did test this with uh, an RDA uh, with a stainless steel coil in it, and it works perfectly well on uh, on on temperature control. That's that's fine. I mean, I uh, I, I uh, drop the uh, the wattage to 65. Um, yeah, the cloud was fine. The, uh, the flavour wasn't too bad either. Yeah. Right, higher watts. Uh, with the drop dead attached, I uh, I whacked the wattage up to 100 watts. Well, outside my comfort zone, of course. But, uh, yeah, because I've got micro lungs, you see. <laughs> <coughs> as well as a cold. <coughs> At higher watts, I found that uh, when the unit got warm obviously you're gonna get heat transfer back down from your rda to your mod right now i found that that fire button sticks in granted i was chain vaping it but it stuck in and the only way that i could get it out was by generally just flicking the darn thing yeah it is a problem with this mod it happened three times in an hour to me well it's worth mentioning i suppose yeah while the tank and the mod themselves work great as a pair or separately come to that. I think that uh, if, if they're going to give you a mesh coil, it ought to be a bit low, especially as this is a 200 watt device. But if they're going to give you a, a, a coil with it, make it a lower ohm coil, Wismac. Uh, I couldn't test the capabilities of the, uh, the unit out with that coil. 65 watts, or 60 watts rather, as a as an upper limit on that coil, just isn't uh, it, it, you know well it's not right it's not uh, not playing cricket if you know what I mean <laughs> hence the reason I did the testing was an RDA the slide fill port it's all right yeah it's fine but I have noticed while taking this off of the uh, the unit or changing that uh, uh, airflow on there the slide port does start to open yeah which is not really that much of a problem but uh, uh, uh well again i felt like it, it was a minor bug and i felt like it was worth mentioning overall quality of the tank and the mod to me it's cheap it feels cheap in the hand it's yeah it it, it is a budget mod so you get what you pay for yeah um, it works, it works, it does its job, and it does its job absolutely fine. But to me, it's got that tacky, cheap feel to it. Uh, anyway, my pros and my cons. The tank's okay. The uh, the, the design's okay. I don't really like the armour tanks myself, personally. But 
there you go. Um, you get a fair flavour from it, uh, fair vapour quality from it. The uh, uh, the mod quality and design is okay, um, although as I said, it's a little bit cheap, yeah, um, or it feels cheap rather. It's an easy kit to uh, to work with. The uh, menuing system on there is nothing new. It's something that we've we've have seen before from Wismac, yeah. Uh, it's lightweight. It is light. It is very, very lightweight. Yeah. Um, obviously, because they, I mean, you've got aluminium, you've got plastic. So yeah, they do look good as a pair, and I absolutely adore those battery orientation marks on there. I really do. I mean, that is. Uh, I'll give Wismac full marks for that, and I hope to see it in other um, devices that they produce. Yeah. Cons: the battery cap now. Um, I've been I've been using the tank for about a week, nearly a week actually. It's be it, the 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 the, uh, the slide cap has got has got looser and looser um, as I've uh, as I've used it. Hence the reason I think why we're moving it off the unit or changing the airflow on it. Um, you can actually feel that top cap beginning to move. Yeah. Uh, fire button can get stuck in and that could be a bit of a problem especially if you can't get a darn thing in it you'd have to whack those batteries out there really quickly and the coils are not fussed with the coils uh, they could have done a lot better with the coils actually um, lower ohmage uh, I don't think there is anything else that I can actually say about this if I lost this kit would uh, or damaged it which I can quite well imagine that uh, it would get damaged quite easily, actually, because of this PC material. Would I buy another one? Well, yeah, I'd probably buy the mod itself, but I think I'd put the, uh, put the tank to one side to gather dust, if you know what I mean. I can't remember whether I mentioned it or not, but the tank, actually, uh, this particular tank is 3 mil in, uh, in liquid capacity. In the UK, when it becomes available, it will be 2 mil. Okay. Anyway, this has been Kevin from World in Viper. Thank you so much for listening to me warble on and coughing. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I've got a cold. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> I've got to. <laughs> right. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Not sure what it's going to be, but I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for now. Let's give it two out. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles.